world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we practice a specific question type. Now these questions, they're short, they are sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more help to make math click, then I will point you in the right direction at the end of this episode today. The focus for this week is drum roll matching item all right y'all let's not waste any more time let's get to it and let me teach ya all right fifth grade here's your problem this week so go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own and just so you know you might need a reference sheet for this one I would highly suggest it okay um, go ahead and pause the video, try this one on your own first, and when you are ready to continue, press play. Welcome back, fifth grade. Okay, so this one says, at Dixie's Tool Store, two customers purchase the items on sale, as listed in the table. Determine if the weight of each customer's purchase is less than 100 ounces or greater than 100 ounces. So we have those two options right there, we will match the scenarios that are right here that customer A and customer B have purchased with the less than or greater than 100 ounces. Okay, so it says that customer A purchases one hammer, one screwdriver, and one wrench. So that means one of each of the items on sale. One hammer, one screwdriver, and one wrench. The hammer is three pounds, six ounces. The screwdriver is one and one fourth pounds. And the wrench is one and three fourths pounds. Now, I see a lot of pounds going on here, but our answer, we're going less than or greater than 100 ounces. So we're going to be converting here. So I have my reference sheet right in front of me. I hope that you do too. And what we will need there is the pounds to ounces thing. So according to our reference sheet, one pound equals 16 ounces, right? So here, we need to convert three of these pounds into ounces. If one pound equals 16 ounces, three pounds would be three times that. So we're taking 16 times three, which would be 48 ounces. Plus, we also have six ounces that the hammer weighs too. All right, so this would be a total of 54 ounces for just the hammer. Customer A also purchases the screwdriver. So we know that the screwdriver is one and one fourth pound. So what we're doing is we're gonna multiply one pound times 16 to get our ounces, plus we'll multiply one fourth of a pound times 16 to convert it into ounces. So one times 16 equals 16, and one fourth of 16, would be 16 fourths or 16 divided by four, which is four. So that would be 20 ounces there. And now we have one and three fourths pounds for the wrench. So that would be one times 16 plus three fourths of 16. So one times 16 is 16. Three fourths of, I can do that over here, three fourths of 16 equals 48 fourths or 12. So that would be plus 12, which equals 28 ounces. Okay, so the hammer is 54 ounces, the screwdriver is 20 ounces, and the weight can be converted into 28 ounces. So now what do we do? Yeah, we need to combine all those together and see if it's less than or greater than what? 100 ounces. So let me add that up. That would be 102 ounces there. So is that less than or greater than 100 ounces? Greater than, right? 
tells me. Go ahead and mark that one. So we found the amount that customer A, the weight of the tools that customer A purchased, so now we need to work on customer B. Customer B purchases three screwdrivers and two wrenches. So let's take that over here. We need three screwdrivers and two wrenches. So we know the weight of one screwdriver is one and one fourth. Well, actually, you know what? We've already converted. The weight of one screwdriver is right here, right? We just did it. It's 20 ounces. So three screwdrivers would be 20, 40, 60 ounces. All right, and we have two wrenches. One wrench equals 28 ounces. We just figured that out right over here. So 28 and another 28 would be 56. So that would be 56 ounces. All right, so let's join those two amounts together. 60 ounces plus 56 ounces is 116 ounces. So that is also greater than 100 ounces. So we gotta be careful with matching item. It might be that there could be multiple in the same column. That's why it's important to write it out. Most times though, they try to vary it a little bit, but for this particular problem, both of them are greater than 100 ounces. So go ahead and pause the video to make any notes that you still need to make, and then when you are ready to continue, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice this is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you've got to make intentional time to practice. And you've got to throw down your best effort each and every time. I believe in you, and I will see you next time, world changers. Bye-bye!